Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to give a big thank you to all the people that have stopped by the channel and subscribed, made all the comments and stuff like that. You know, I, I really appreciate that. It tells me that I'm making relevant content for you. Today's topic, I think everyone's gonna love. A lot of modern performance cars have a problem with weight. In the quest to reduce weight on my car, I bought carbon fiber race seats, I ripped out the rear seat, I bought lightweight wheels, two-piece brakes, carbon fiber to everything I could, but I felt like there was still uh, some money being left on the table. I started researching some lightweight batteries and I came across the anti-gravity brand of lithium ion batteries. And in my case, it was great because it dropped 20 pounds compared to the OEM boat anchor that Ford decides to use. While cool, there was a bigger problem uh, getting it secured to the vehicle. And there are solutions out there in the market. However, some of those solutions are either like really big and gangly or expensive, or they don't really secure the battery to the battery housing, the little bucket that's underneath the hood. So I decided to 3D model up a solution and I liked where it was going. However, there were still some things that needed to be resolved. I knew early on that I was gonna 3D print this thing just to get you know the most efficient use of material I could. And so what I did is I teamed up with a local 3D print specialist. From there, we came up with what you see here, which is a highly engineered 3D printed carbon fiber infused nylon battery tray for the ATX20 HD. The cool thing about this is it weighs 209 grams, which is less than a half pound. It's incredibly strong. It also has a melting temperature of 225 degrees Celsius. That's 437 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll easily handle any underhood temperature of a track car. The assembly and installation of this piece is super simple. You have your tray, your strap, and it comes with all the hardware you need. You simply insert your battery, put your strap on, secure it with the supplied hardware, and you install it like you see here. Boom, you just lost 20 pounds. In closing, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. See you on the next one.